Hi, thanks for watching. Today's cards features um, House Mouse Spring 2023 collection. I received three House Mouse stamps from Spellbinders. This one is called Daisy Mouse. It has the mouse riding a daisy and there are three sentiments. Special delivery, thinking of you, and spring is in the air. I plan to watercolor, so I'm using watercolor paper, and I'm using memento ink. You could use archival ink as well. And I just used a little Versamark to start off with, just to condition the brand new stamp. Okay, the second stamp I received is called Bouquet for You. It features the mouse carrying the bouquet and two sentiments. You are special and especially for you. I love the font on these sentiments and I can see myself using them for other projects that I create. Again, I'm just stamping with Memento ink and I'm going to be using my Castle Art watercolor pencils. And I am stamping multiple times on my watercolor paper because I will tuck the extras inside the storage envelope with the stamp. That way, if I need a quick card, I can grab what I stamped already, go ahead and color it real quick, and then have a card. What's nice about these is they're perfect for all kinds of occasions. Happy birthday, thinking of you, get well soon, you name it. And the third stamp that Spellbinder sent me is called T for Two features the two mice on top of the flowers having a tea party and it has two longer sentiments and they are thankful for your friendship and I like hanging out with you. I will have all the products that I'm using linked below, below my description box. And if you use my links, um, they are affiliate links. I receive a small commission and there's no extra charge for you. Um, I really appreciate if you use that. It helps my channel to grow. Speaking of my channel growing, I am almost at 3,400 subscribers. Looking forward to the milestone of reaching 3,500 subscribers, um, at which time I have a ton of things I want to give away uh, for prizes. And then when I get to 4,000, I'll even have more prizes. So if you know anybody that might like the type of cards that I create and the content that I create, uh, please invite them to subscribe to my channel. Now the castle art pencils I'm using are mostly the yellow tones right now. I just picked three or four shades and I'm not an expert colorist by any means. I'm just giving you an example of how you can easily color these in. I'm just using some water and a fine uh, tipped paintbrush. So I put some color down and then I use the water to blend it. That's my technique. Um, I try to do a little bit of shading. Yellow I think is hard for me to shade just because it is such a light color and it probably is hard to see whenever I am coloring it because because it is yellow um, but yeah that's what I did for this one and I didn't realize this but you may already realize this the house mouse designs the little mice have names and this little guy is called mud pie so if you ever hear of anybody say Boy, that's cute. Mud pie looks so cute. You'll know what they're talking about. Um, they are super cute and they're red rubber stamps. So you can use your archival ink. Um, you don't have to worry about it staining. So some of them, not in this video, but when I stamped a couple more, I used Catherine Puller ink archival um, the black and you know you can just wipe it right off then it red rubber stamps 
the archival ink from Catherine Puller doesn't stain them. Um, but they do have a lot of detail. And that's one thing about red rubber stamps. And it's been a while since I've been creating with any red rubber stamps. So I really enjoyed this. And I want to say thanks to Spellbinders for sending them along to me. Um, as I was saying earlier, these designs are just so classic, not only for birthday, but for like a get well soon or thinking of you or thank you. Who wouldn't be excited or happy to get one of these cards? It would certainly bring a smile to the face of the recipient. And there doesn't take very long to color them in. Um, you could use alcohol markers or could use regular colored pencils again I'm using watercolor pencils um, there's just a lot of different options out there for you know coloring you could just use a dye based marker um, anything that you have in your stash would work uh, with these designs they're, they're not hard to color now for the Inside of the daisy, I'm using a brown color and just lightening that up a little bit with the water. And then um, going back in with some more yellow for these petals. You could make this any color flower that you'd like. And there's a lot of really pretty examples out there right now. A lot of the people who receive these stamps for Spellbinders have already published their images and I know Nancy made a card I think with this one and so did Chow so if you're not subscribed to Nancy stamps I would encourage you to do that and then create with Chow they also um, both of them um, are creators with spell binders yeah so I'm excited because it's my first time you know having house mouse in my collection I can tell you I definitely am enjoying this. Okay, for the sake of time, I am going to fast forward this a little bit. So you'll see me moving quite quickly. This is not my real life speed of coloring. But I am making the mouse gray. I'm leaving his belly light gray and um, just coloring in light color for his face um, and his tail. Um, I do want to say that when I stamped these out, I took them with me on vacation and we went to Pigeon Forge and we had some really rainy weather while we were there. I mean, I know that it rains there, but this was like Noah's Ark rain. It was on that level of rain. So there was one evening when I had the opportunity to work on one of these cards and it was actually the bouquet for you. I colored that one while we were at our cabin. I took the watercolor pencils, the stamped images, and my paint brushes with me. And I just sat at the dining room table in our cabin one night when it was raining and yucky out. And this was uh, the only craft items that I took with me. And I'm glad that I did because I was able to get one of the panels completed. Um, so that was fun. So I guess the moral of that story is uh, if you stamp them out ahead of time, you can take them with you. And no matter where you are, you can quickly do some water coloring with your watercolor pencils okay now that I've had the opportunity to color in my mouse and daisy I grabbed my cloud stencil from a colorful life designs and some ink from Catherine Puller and a brush blending brush and I'm just creating some clouds for my background one thing that's nice about using a stencil, you can almost use it as a mask because this one is large enough that I can just twist it and turn it so that it's covering what I colored 
um, and allowing me to fill in that background. So that's super quick. And you don't have to mask anything, which I don't like masking if I don't have to. And when you use this stencil, it is best to rotate it. You want to get different patterns of clouds. You know, when you look in the sky, clouds are all irregular all the way from, you know, flat to puffy. And this stencil really allows you to get that look. I am going to um, finish this card during this video. I will have a second video featuring the way that I colored the T for two. Um because I did that one when I got back from vacation. Just now getting a chance to do voiceovers and get all my content. Um, get updated with all the content that I need to get out there. But we had a nice vacation, even though it rained a lot. Uh, Pigeon Forge, there's a lot of fun things to do, even when it's raining. And you know, it wouldn't have been so bad if it just was like a little rain, but it was, like I said, at the level of Noah's flood. Um, and you really, really limited with your outdoor excursions. All right. So now that I have my clouds created, I'm going to go ahead and finish this card. I have some pearl blue, like shiny paper that I'm going to use for one of my matte layers. And I also have some yellow cardstock for a matte layer. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these together. Um, I'm going to use my Misty, try to get things a little bit straight and not crooked. I found that sometimes this helps me to get things more accurate. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and put my watercolor panel. And then I stamped the sentiment thinking of you on a piece of white scrap paper that I had and then I backed it with some blue as a matte layer so just tying in some of that blue it's a little bit of a darker blue but I think it's nice it really draws your attention to that sentiment so it says thinking of you and I'm just adhering that with glue then I'm going to grab some of the Spellbinders uh, sequins. This color is called Bisque. It's a nice ivory color. It goes well with really any card. Here's a still photo with a close up of the card that I just created. Now let's take a look at the other one I created. Now this mouse I made brown and I made the flowers purple and yellow. They remind me of winter crocuses. Okay, thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you think about these cards. Thanks so much for watching. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.